Cleopatra was not technically a pharaoh when she was introduced to Julius Caesar and later to Mark Antony. However, she was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which was of Greek origin and had ruled Egypt as pharaohs since the time of Alexander the Great. As such, Cleopatra was considered to be a direct descendant of the pharaohs of ancient Egypt and was viewed as having a legitimate claim to the Egyptian throne. When Cleopatra was introduced to Julius Caesar in 48 BCE, she was still in the process of solidifying her hold on the Egyptian throne, which she had gained through a complicated series of political maneuvers and family disputes. By presenting herself to Caesar as the legitimate ruler of Egypt, Cleopatra was able to gain his support and protection. Likewise, when Cleopatra met Mark Antony several years later, she used her royal status and her connection to the pharaohs of Egypt to appeal to his sense of grandeur and his desire for power and wealth. By presenting herself as a queen in the tradition of the pharaohs, Cleopatra was able to win Antony's affection and become his most trusted advisor and ally. 